So now we should set up UUIDD daemon, which uh, suits or with, which is essential to generate database keys needed by SAP. And in order to do that, we go to activities and type here to the search bar YAST. And let's choose this one, this button YAST, double click on that. And we are prompted to provide password. This is our password, administration password, password of our user. And I and my password is ABAP777 and hit, hit continue. Okay, so right now we have the window with control center. And now only when you use proxy, you go into network services and search for proxy. So click on that and you will set up a uh, proxy here. If you are not using the proxy, uh, then uh, you can click cancel. You don't need to do that. Uh, this is my case, I don't need. So do I want to really abort? Yes. Uh, so this is uh, only the case if you are using proxy. Then uh, we go into software and uh, look for online update. So click on online update. And right now uh, we are, our uh, Linux is initializing target system, refreshing software, what, uh, all the things needed uh, by this uh, program. And we get to uh, into online update uh, screen. So what we should do, uh, make sure that you have view right here in this list box and hit on search and we will search for UUIDD and hit search. We will find a package UUIDD which is helper daemon to guarantee uniqueness of time-based UUIDs. So what we will do, we will check UUID package and hit accept. And let's wait until the progress is on 100%. Okay, so once the update is finished, we get a pop-up window. Packages for package management were updated, finished and restarting yes now. So hit OK. And let's check if uh, everything is has been uh, installed correctly. So I will type this once more UUIDD hit enter or search and I see that UUIDD is already installed okay so I, I can click, click, uh, click on cancel and what I will do I will go into terminal type it here double click on that terminal window and what I will try to do is to start up this UUIDD service so what I will do I will go uh, I will do the sudo command uh, service UUIDD start. So this is the command that you should type as well and hit enter. Uh, we trust you have received the usual lecture from the local system administrator. Okay, um, we are doing some administration stuff, so we need to also uh, provide our super user password. And my password is ABAP777. Hit enter. And it's already done. So in order to find out if this if this service is running correctly, I want to get a status of this service. So uh, for that, we will use the following command. So again, sudo, uh, and we will use, first of all, service. Then we will search for the status. All, we will display all the statuses uh, available for this service. And we will use the pipe grab uuidd okay and hit enter and i can see that the service is running correctly so this is great depending on which uh, version of linux distribution you currently have or, or what kind of packages uh, this uuidd uh, needs to download you may be prompted to to clarify or to continue to press some continue buttons in order to process this installation further and as you as you have seen in this case it was not needed for me to to do any uh, confirm confirmations uh, to process any other pop-up windows uh, but you may be prompted to to do some additional checks or additional 
clarifications or confirmations. So don't be scared if you don't see this process uh, exactly the same as you have seen uh, right now. But the point is to get this UUIDD active. And based on installation from different versions, uh, we have also already prepared some material which you can read through uh, with screenshots, with detailed screenshots on what kind of uh, pop-up windows you may see and what uh, what buttons you should uh, click. So down below the video, you will find there the link. And if this, if that will be your case, just follow those instructions. You should be safe to go to install this UUIDD service.